Welcome in. Today on Heriton TV, our Dr. Heriton intro show. We're going to be going through the history of the show, what you should expect from this year's event, and get a student council update from President Graham Granscom. That's all right now, live from the Heriton High School television studio in Rosemont, Pennsylvania, this is the Ram Report. Harriton's annual Dr. Harriton event is quickly approaching. And HTC's Winter One Acts are just around the corner. Hello, I'm Max Harris. Along with Emily Wright. For today's Ram Report. This is our first Ram Report of the new year, and we hope you all had a successful and well-rested winter break. To open today's show, we begin with a report on the progress of this year's Dr. Harriton event, introducing the contestants. Dr. Harriton 2020 is underway to be the best and most musical show yet. This year's annual fundraiser is themed music genres and is working to raise the most money of any of the past year's shows. Let's meet our contestants for this year. Hey, what's up? I'm Maximos. Uh, my theme is jazz, and uh, we must have great pitch because you and I are so in tune. Oh, hey there. My name is Ro Turan. My theme is hip hop. People say happiness starts with H. I don't know why mine starts with you. Ahaha. -ha. Hey there, my name is Andy, my theme is classical music, um, let's see, hey girl, are you a C minor scale, cause I'd fall flat for you. Oh, I didn't see you there, my name is Austin Sullivan, I'm doing country this year, and uh, call me if you need a buck. Hey girl, are you the 930 show? Cause I wanna rock and roll you all night. Hi, I'm Jay Ramaswamy and I'm EDM. Are you a record? Cause I wanna spin you around. Hi, my name is Blake Arbor. My theme's disco and Hey girl, are you a disco ball? Cause you light up the room. I'm Mikkel, I'm doing holiday music as my theme. And are you a Christmas present? Because I'd like to wake up to you on Christmas morning. My name's Keith and my theme is musical theater. And are you that line I messed up? Cause I can't stop thinking about you. I'm Aiden, category is pop. And are you a phone charger? Cause without you, I'd die. Choreographers Sophie Weinstein and Nusha Parvisi, along with Dr. Harriton director Madison Wolfgang, are hard at work making this year's dances stand out. Stay tuned for more behind-the-scenes content for the show in future Ram Reports. For Harriton TV, I am Max Harris. Thanks, Max. Dr. Harriton will be held on February 28th, and tickets will be sold later this month. Dr. Harriton has been making an impact on the local community for the past 12 years. We now turn to a recap on what last year's Dr. Harriton initiative accomplished throughout the event. Dr. Harriton 2019 Lights, Camera, Action was a blockbuster hit in the Harriton Auditorium. Once again, 10 upperclassmen competed for the ultimate title of Harriton High School. So who was crowned this year with the golden stethoscope? And your 2019 Dr. Harriton is tied! Ty Garneveld wowed the audience with a dance routine where he flew across the stage with grace. Following the show, I had the opportunity to briefly talk with him. Ty told me he was proud of the amount of money raised by this event. Every single person who bought a ticket helped us get to that 35000 We could not have done it without everyone's help. Thank you all so much. Coming in second place was Matt Pearl, who played a piece on the grand piano and then played Close to You on a talk box. In 
third place was Zeke Zeke Milrod, who played an impressive drum solo and performed a magic trick for the judges. And this year's final fundraising total is $35,239. The real winner of the night, however, was Charity. Dr. Harriton raised over $35,000, which will so be donated to the American Heart Association, the Ronald McDonald House, and the Lower Marion Scholarship Fund. Student Council President Lauren Levy informed Harriton TV that this year's show had the highest attendance of any of the years prior, with additional seats being added to accommodate overflow guests. Officially, and I am going to go on record, you this is the very first sold out, like actually sold out show. Wow. Despite many challenges, Dr. Harriton 2019 was a huge success for both student council and our community. You just want attention. You don't want my heart. Maybe you just hate the thought of me with someone new. One person specifically that I want to thank for making this show, and tonight especially, my love is so explosive for them. Again, with the clean hands. Mm. Mm -mm. That is just fantastic. Meaning in words is influential. Rapping is always essential to share things that are confidential and to become reverential. For Harrington TV, I am Max Harris. Now, back to the news desk. HTC's Winter One Acts opened this weekend, featuring six student-directed one-act plays in Harrington's Black Box Theater. The 20-minute plays range from dramas to comedy, each being entirely different from the last. Showings will take place this Thursday through Saturday at 7 p.m., as well as a matinee on two, at 2 p.m. on Saturday. Tickets are being sold at HarringtonTheater.com. Today's show, we have a student council update from our student body president, Graham Branscombe. Graham? Hello, Harriton. This is your student council president, Graham Branscombe. I'm just here to talk about what student council's up to, what we're doing, and what we plan for the future. So right now, we're in the real swing of things with Dr. Harriton. If you don't know, Dr. Harriton is our, uh, actually, this is our 13th annual um, school-wide talent show that raises money for uh, charity. This year, we're going to help the ESF Dream Camp Foundation and the Lower Marion Scholarship Fund. So um, we do everything from ads to getting donations, all that kind of good fundraising stuff. And so please, um, if you or your family or friends would like to donate, please visit Herodin.org slash donate. But besides um, just the fundraising aspect, um, all the contestants this year have been working extremely hard on talents, dances, their videos, etc. They have been practicing two hours plus every day, five days a week since about November. So they put in countless hours towards this, and we still have until February 28th, and we are really excited to put on a probably the best show that we've ever had. Um, so please show out. It's going to be on February 28th, 7 o'clock p.m. in the auditorium. It's going to be the best Dr. Harridan that we've ever had. Hope to see you there, Harridan. That's all for today's REM Report. Signing off, this is Emily Wright. And Max Harris. Before we go, we'd also like to wish a happy birthday to our very own Emily Wright, who's turning a whole seven years old today. Thanks for watching the REM Report.